Hello people, I'm Hassan Raja and we are going to discuss determinants. Determinants are the words that are used before noun to determine the value, meaning, sense of nouns. A and the are also determinants. They are used before nouns to determine it. When the noun is countable but singular, A and is used. Remember, no noun is left without articles. There must be articles before singular countable noun. Before singular countable noun, it should be a, it should be an, or it should be the or the. But it cannot be left alone. A noun that is singular but countable is what that we can count. A and should be used. At the same time, if noun is uncountable, before uncountable noun, especially article a and is not used. If noun is specific or there is another countable noun, before uncountable noun, only then a and can be used. Example, rice, a bucket of rice. Bucket is countable, therefore, a can be used before rice. News, a piece of news. Piece is countable, therefore, a can be used before piece. Remember, if noun is uncountable, but when it is used in the sense of countable, in that case, a and can be used. In the sense of countable means what? When we talk about a specific noun or when we talk about a specification of noun. Example, when we say noise, noise means we, can, we cannot count it. But when we say, look at that noise, in that case, noise becomes specific. And then it should be a noise. Paper that is uncountable, when we talk about a specific paper, then it should be a paper. Same as experience, it cannot be counted. But when we talk about a specific type of experience, then a and can be used before experience. There are some nouns that are by default singular. And before these words, a and is not used. Accommodation, advice, baggage, behavior, braid, chaos, damage, furniture, information, luck, lag, luggage, news, permission, traffic, weather, scenery, work. Before these nouns, a and is not used. But remember, there are some nouns that is countable of the same uncountable noun. In that case, a and can be used. For example, work is uncountable, but countable of work is job and therefore a and can be used before it. Scenery, it is uncountable and countable of scenery is views view, therefore a and can be used. Weather is uncountable, but day is countable of weather and a and can be used. Same rule can be applied with luggage, baggage, furniture and advice. There is a restriction for a and, and that restriction is noun should be countable, noun should be singular, but there's no restriction for the, just there is one condition. Any noun that is specific, that is known by reader, that is known by hearer, or noun that is repeated in the coming sentence, then the is used. A and means singular noun, countable noun, but in case of the, there is no rule, there is no restriction. When noun is singular, yet we can use the. If it is plural, we can use the. If it is countable, we can use the. If it is uncountable, yet we can use the. So the word the has no restriction. The condition is what? It should be known by hearer or reader. Example, I had a sandwich and apple. When the same words are used second time in the sentence, then the sandwich and the apple. If we talk about any other nouns such as open the window, it's been what hearer or reader knows what window we are talking about and hence the can be used. Open the gate, it's been what that we are talking about what gate we are talking. So whenever there is something unique, special, node, and it's one in own type, in that case, the is used. And I said there is no rule for, there's no restriction for the. This is all for today. We will continue with one more topic. And for practice, you can join with practice question of masterclass. Thank you. Have a good time.